This video will show you how to install the Recluse left hand rear brake kit. The left hand rear brake system features a Recluse engineered and manufactured full size billet aluminum master cylinder, providing high performance braking power while allowing riders to operate the rear brake using only their left hand. Riders do keep the option and function of the rear foot brake pedal. Recluse install videos are meant for general reference only. Please follow the installation manual supplied with your kit for the most accurate information. First, stand the bike upright on a center stand. Remove the fuel tank from the bike. This will aid with routing the brake line along the frame and with the whole process of bleeding the system. Loosen and remove the rear master cylinder reservoir cap. For Brembo master cylinders, use a 21mm end wrench and turn the cap counterclockwise. For Nissan master cylinders, remove the cap bolts. Remove the rear master cylinder reservoir cap. Surround the caliper with disposable rags to protect the brake pads and rotor from any spilled brake fluid. Remove the dust cap on the rear caliper bleed nipple and clean off any debris. Place a box end wrench over the bleed nipple. There are two identical syringes and two plastic hose clamps, sized slightly different. These clamps will help secure the syringe tubing to the fittings while bleeding. The larger diameter clamp will be used at the caliper end, while the smaller clamp will be used at the master cylinder end. Slide the large tubing clamp over the hose on one of the syringes, but don't clamp it yet. Then slip the syringe hose over the caliper bleed nipple. Slide the large hose clamp over the area of the syringe tube that is on the bleed nipple. Crimp the hose clamp to secure the hose to the bleed fitting. Fill the foot master cylinder with brake fluid. The left hand rear brake kit is compatible with DOT3, DOT4, and DOT5.1 brake fluids. Do not use DOT5 fluid or any mineral oil based fluids. Keeping the caliper bleed nipple closed, rapidly pump the foot brake pedal 8 to 10 times, ensuring the pedal is returning all the way to the upward position between pumps. On the last pump of the foot pedal, Hold the pedal down with significant force and crack the caliper bleed nipple, allowing the pressure to release into the syringe. Close the bleed nipple prior to releasing the foot pedal. Repeat this process until the syringe on the caliper is nearly full. If the fluid in the syringe at this point is dirty, discolored, or contaminated, remove the syringe from the bike and dispose of the fluid. Reinstall the syringe and repeat the bleeding process. Continue this bleeding process until the master cylinder reservoir has about a quarter inch of fluid left. Insert one of the included o-rings into the reservoir of the stock rear master cylinder. Place the o-ring flat all the way down at the bottom of the reservoir. The O-rings have a tendency to get stuck on the sight glass windows. Make sure that O-ring is fully seated at the bottom of the master cylinder before inserting the sleeve. Failing to do so can cause the O-ring to tear. Install the recluse brake sleeve into the rear master cylinder. For Brembo cylinders, thread the sleeve into the reservoir of the master cylinder and tighten with the 17mm end wrench to compress and seal the O-ring at the bottom. For Nissan cylinders, reuse your two stock reservoir cap bolts and tighten to OEM spec. If it was previously removed, resecure the rear master cylinder body to the bike frame using Blue Loctite 243 or similar thread locking compound. Starting from the front number plate with the banjo end of the brake line, route the new brake line beside the clutch cable or hydraulic line along the left side of the frame. Continue behind the engine and cross over to the right side of the frame in front of the rear shock. Do not secure the brake line with zip ties until the bleeding procedure has been completed. This avoids creating low points in the system for air to be trapped when bleeding. From the brake line kit, install the fittings at the rear master cylinder as shown. The banjo fitting on the line should be sandwiched between two square ring seals on the banjo bolt. Only two square ring seals will be used. Extra seals are included in the kit in case any are lost or torn. Ensuring that the line will not contact any moving parts or the exhaust pipe, tighten the banjo bolt to 60 inch pounds or 7 newton meters. Using an 8mm socket, mount the recluse master cylinder onto the left side of the handlebar. 
This does not have to be its permanent mounted location, but is a good location for routing the brake line and bleeding the system. Do not move the engine kill switch in a manner which makes it inaccessible for proper use in emergency situations. With the recluse master cylinder mounted to the handlebar, insert the line fitting and tighten to 15 foot-pounds or 20 newton meters. At this point it is necessary to have the bleed port on the recluse master cylinder at the highest point of the reservoir. This can be achieved with the master cylinder mounted on the bars by having the front tilted down slightly and with the bars turned such that the right side of the housing is angled upward. This can also be achieved by removing the housing from the bars and being allowed to hang in a proper orientation. The brake system will be back bled from the lowest point, which is the rear caliper, to the highest point, the recluse master cylinder bleed port. Then it will be pushed back through from the top down. Be sure to use new or like new brake pads and rotor. If your pads or rotor are worn, you must re-bleed after replacing them. Position the filled syringe at the caliper so that the plunger is facing upward. Tap on the hose to ensure any air bubbles rise to the top and out of the tubing. At the recluse master cylinder, remove the top bleed port screw using a 2.5mm Allen. Slide the small hose clamp onto the unused syringe, followed by the supplied bleed fitting, but do not crimp the hose clamp yet. Thread the bleed fitting into the bleed port in the recluse master cylinder. The syringe will not have any brake fluid in it at this point. Pliers can be used to tighten the fitting into the housing. Be careful not to over tighten and snap the fitting off the housing. Slide the hose clamp down over the bleed fitting and crimp the hose clamp to secure the hose to the bleed fitting. The master cylinder cap will not be removed in this process. While applying light pressure with the syringe, loosen the bleed nipple a half turn. Then. Slowly start to push the fluid through the system with the syringe at the caliper. Keep pushing fluid through the system while it starts to fill the syringe up at the master cylinder. Push until no more air bubbles are coming out of the master cylinder bleed port. Then close the bleed nipple at the caliper. Ensuring that the caliper bleed nipple is closed and there are no air bubbles in the syringe hose at the recluse master cylinder, apply pressure to the master cylinder syringe while opening the rear caliper bleed nipple. This allows the fluid from the master cylinder syringe to travel downwards to the syringe at the caliper. Keep reversing the direction of pushing fluid from one syringe to the other until no more air bubbles are trapped in the system. At this point, the brake lever should be functioning fully and there should be significant pressure in the system with every pull. If the master cylinder was removed from the bar to bleed the system, you will need to remount it on the bar to fill the lever pull. Confirm the operation of both the foot pedal and the hand lever. It may be necessary to re-bleed the system after the first ride for best performance, as riding tends to help loosen any remaining air bubbles in the brake system. Now it's time to top off the fluid and seal the system. Once all the air is bled from the system, place rags around the bleed port of the recluse master cylinder to avoid fluid spillage in the next step. Unscrew the bleed fitting from the master cylinder. Using the syringe at the caliper, gently force a small amount of fluid to the top of the master cylinder bleed port and reinstall the bleed port screw. With the bleed nipple tightly closed at the caliper, fluid should be flush at the bleed port when installing the screw. With the bleed nipple tightly closed at the caliper, remove the end wrench, syringe hose, and replace the dust cap on the bleed nipple. Do not discard any items from your bleed kit, as you will reuse them when performing future maintenance on your brake system. Check all the brake line fittings for leaks. Slide the rubber boot over the fitting on the recluse master cylinder. The brake line comes pre-assembled with a length of thermal shielding on the banjo end, Make sure that the shielding is slid down to the line toward the banjo before securing it to the line with zip ties. The shield is intended to protect the brake line from the heat of the exhaust pipe. Secure it to the OEM rear brake line near the shock with a zip tie and then secure it to the hydraulic clutch line or clutch cable upward along the frame using the other provided zip ties. The key is to make sure the hose is away from the exhaust and is not pinched by the tank once installed. 
The recluse master cylinder can be mounted above or below the stock clutch lever, depending on your preference and riding style. Reinstall the clutch lever perch. You can adjust the master cylinders to find your desirable position of the two levers before tightening the clamps. The master cylinder body can be moved laterally in the bar mount by removing the stainless steel allen screw. Once adjusted, reinsert the screw and torque to 26 inch pounds or 3 newton meters. Tighten the master cylinder clamp screws in order to achieve the desired tightness of the mount, which can be up to 7 foot pounds or 10 newton meters. Check rotation of the handlebars to ensure there is no binding or pinching. If the brake pads or rotor become contaminated with brake fluid, poor brake performance will result. The brake rotor can be cleaned, but the pads are compromised if they become contaminated. New pads must be installed if contamination occurs. To adjust the brake lever toward or away from the handlebar, turn the adjuster wheel located at the push rod cup to obtain desired ergonomic position. Reinstall the bike's fuel tank and seat along with any other components that were removed during the installation process. See your recluse installation manual for more information. Mm -hmm.